Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I have figured out a way to share everything with you guys and to make it more organized. So I think what I'm gonna do is that some people keep, some people say that they really like the, the um, vlogs and some people wanna watch the renovations slash us moving in. And we have so much footage and I keep saying like, I have to stop the vlog here because we have too much footage and then there are people who say that they want the extra footage. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to separate vlogs from renovation footage and put them in two separate videos. So some days there will be two videos and some days there will be not. We missed riding for this whole week because Storm blew a shoe and Brandon was away at a horse show. So um, riding lessons will still be coming. It's just that we are off this week again. So hopefully that makes sense. It's already two. 30 in the afternoon i've been working all morning while everybody was sleeping because it's sunday and it's rest day but Come show me, let's be it. real there is no rest on when you live on a farm so uh, you guys know how we're trying to get everything ready and done for the horses to bring them home which we're getting close we know like exactly what we need to do got our security cameras up already Tomorrow I'm going to get Sam to fence this area in. Chino can't have grass so he won't be able to go over there. It was hard for Sam to dig everything up. He dug it again today. Looks like we're going to have to pick more than rocks. There's like a bunch of dead grass in here. But once we get everything done, we still have a whole other farm. We still have a whole half of a farm to explore. I've only been in this barn one time and it was when we came for like our last look around. Oh yeah, and we went, when we came to view this property, I went in there just for a second. So, oh yeah, I literally forgot what it looked like. Wow, there's a bucket over there. So, this, is gonna fall down. I, this piece is going to fall down? Let me not. So, Sam was out here and he said it seems really safe. But it seems scary to me. Oh, there's some fencing. Um, so I don't think we're ever gonna use this. Get out of that bucket. Oh gosh. I wonder if that bucket has a hole in it. I'm scared. Oh, oh my gosh, Gabby, what are you doing? What is that? Oh my gosh, is that where you throw hay down? Trying to be careful where I walk. Is that where you throw hay down? Yes. Wow, that is cool. Oh, that's cool. Do you guys see? That's cool. Oh, there's another one. Oh, that's really cool. So one thing I love about exploring places like this, oh my gosh, look at all that good wood. Look at, those are all really nice two by fours. There's like honestly so much wood and so many things on this property. But look at that. On the outside, it looks nice. On the inside, you can see the, the light coming through. I am terrified. What's this? Diatomaceous earth. I might take that and put it in the chicken coop. I have a, a bag of it at home I want to put in the chicken coop. That's a mat, but it needs a lot of cleaning. Shelving. Those are shelves. An old countertop. All right, Gabby, are you, Elizabeth tried to go up there. Elizabeth tried? Elizabeth tried. Hold, <laughs> Hold my phone. Did it break? No, I said get your butt down right now because she wasn't my child. <laughs> was, Look, this is going to break. You think so? It's a cool. It sticks. It's a cool. Here, I'll hold it. Sophie, hold her phone. Oh. Going over. Here. Oh. <laughs> See, she's a cautious kid. All right, I'll hold it. Oh my God. Don't hold it. Okay. Yeah, it is sticks. It's like, uh, I think you got it. See what? You feel it bending. It's not fun. <laughs> At any point, jump down if you need to. Yeah, I don't want to go up further. So I wanted to come in here and see if there's any like treasures. It's been a treasure hunt. Treasure yeah, there's literally nothing up there. Hunt on this farm. Nothing up there? I see wood. Except for 
wood. Really nice wood. Look at that wood right there. Dolls. That's the wood he needs for the stalls. Oh my gosh, I have to show him that. Gabby's the one that we send up on ladders. All right, so we found some buckets. Buckets are good. That one's all wet. I don't want to dump it because it's going to go in the barn downstairs. But I'll clean these. These are really heavy ones. They don't freeze as much as the regular ones. All right, so this was the room that I went in. I'm worried about the floor. Just because you never know. So it looks like it's just been stored. Junk has just been stored in here. But again, lots of wood. Like we could burn all this wood in the fire for winter and be warm all winter. Don't drink that. Ellie, don't drink it. Oh my gosh. I love boxes. I love this. What could I use this for if I painted it? Oh my goodness. Could use it for chicken food, but it's really cute. I love this box. Definitely gonna take this and paint it and make it into something. Do you like this box? She made a path for me. It's a box. <laughs> she made a path for me. Everybody's scared. I don't scared at the new farm. That's what this vlog is That's gonna be called. I want that. You want it? Ellie, don't Do you drink that. Don't drink the water. Ellie, you Ellie. can use water now. Um, do you want to paint it and like use it in your room for something? I want to paint it. That would fit in your nook. So that Gabby would can, um, fit like she can reach the top shelf. <laughs> use it as a step stool? Yes. Um, there's someone that watches the vlogs that will know. What Sophie's talking about. Everybody thinks Gabby, care. everybody makes fun of Gabby because oh. she's short. Oh, so see? Oh. Every time you see one of those, be I was worried. stepping on one of the... Like yeah, we stepped on one to get on one to get over here. Okay, put that down. <laughs> Let's go back. Imagine if Ellie fell through that. All right, I'm gonna walk over here. Gabby, I need a pack. Ooh, a spider web. Here, grab the I'm box. Not carrying it. Sophie, I'm carrying buckets. Yeah, you, that one has a lot of them. You can tell. Go. All right. All right. Here. Oh, all right. So I'm gonna take these buckets. I'm gonna clean them, and. Here. <laughs> this is how we're safe. <laughs> so I think I think what we're gonna do with this barn is store some stuff like everybody else has done. You guys, I need you to bring over that hay thing. Here, I'll help. All right, storage thing number one. I know I've seen more of these laying around. Those are heavy suckers. Put it right there. Where? Swing it around and. In front of Brady? Where the what? In front of Brady? Yeah, who's Brady? I don't know. You see a guy there? No. Brady, Look at on the ground. Oh, it says Brady on the ground. I was about to panic there for a second. It's haunted. Oh. So I'm really sensitive to stuff like ghosts, and I don't feel anything here. I feel like so happy and peaceful here. What are you doing? <laughs> what? What are you doing? There we go, almost there. Yep. All right, girl power. What? They probably covered up a murder by burying the And then they put the name on the thing? Yes. <laughs> if anybody's looking for a Brady, that's where he is. All right, somebody has to close that door. It died in 2005. 2005. You're missing a Brady. Wait, there's a garbage bag. I wonder what's in there. It looks like a dead body. Nope, no bones. Garbage bags full of garbage bags. Garbage bag full of garbage bags. That's good. And then there's a head in That's it. That's useful. <laughs> and then there's a head in it. We could use this. Why is it? Yeah. So obviously, torture obviously they use that stuff on the chicken coop. The chicken coop is terrible. We're going to fix it. We should bring this out. We have a whole plan for the chickens, you guys. And I want to share that with you in about five we minutes. Going? We should bring this out. Wait. Wait. Where are we going now? We're going to go get a drink because I'm sweating hot. And then we're going to go to the other ho house for a few minutes and bring something back. Okay. Oh. Uh, they can go out there, yeah. Go help dad. 
So we figured out how to open the door into the coop. We decided that this, the way this farm is set up, we're gonna free range our chickens, but we're gonna leave them in the coop for the shortest time uh, for them to get used to. This is heavy. For them to get used to where they live. Don't lock us in, I locked myself in the other day. <laughs> Right outside. <laughs> that one's going outside. Okay, get out. The silkies. So the baby silkies are big enough, we think, to come out with the bigger ones because they're all coming into a new environment. <laughs> she just keeps pulling chickens out. I love this chicken. Part. I love that chicken too. And she's such a good little layer. <laughs> You're like, oh my goodness. This is nerve wracking. All right. She wants to go up there. I know. I can't tell if that's a girl or a boy. It looks like a boy. It's definitely a boy. I see the saddle feathers coming. Okay. So that chicken that I saved. Oh, there's a chicken out there. Is actually a rooster. I should have known because the roosters are always the friendliest. She's the sweetest little baby. There's your new... She's like, ooh, this is actually nice. All right, baby silkies. Okay, so those ones are calm. This one, it hides from us. Yeah, we never see I it. I never see it. Bring it over one. here and let's show them. I'm sure it's a little girl, but look, she can't see. We're gonna have to like take the scissors to the silkies. <laughs> Put that There's one no on the way. Perch, huh? You wanna get on a perch? Oh. Look. Did that rooster went out there. Look. Silky down, please. <laughs> Silky is stuck. Do you need help? There we go. That's it. Those are all of our chickens. So. Oh, okay. There's three down there and they love it. There's three down there and they love it? Yeah. And the rooster, yeah. And the rooster. All right. So there's lots of room. It doesn't look like it. It didn't look like it when we were letting them in. And guys, we have a boy. Oh. White barred rock. Right yeah, there. we have a white barred rock in there. But anyway, you can't see through uh, this That's stuff. So cute. It's all by itself. That was loud. The rooster just did a big crow. <laughs> all right, they're home. Oh, look. She's being nice to the baby. Aww. She's normally the mean. That's one. my mean girl. Well, the neighbors know we have chickens now with their rooster. Every time I turn off the camera, he does a huge cockadoodle-doo. <laughs> Oh, we got to get their food and their water for goodness sake. Let's do that. <laughs> in a couple of days, like once they all are coming into the coop religiously, Sam's going to cut a new door into the back of the coop over there that they can go down into the horse pasture. And the thing about our horse pasture is that raccoons can get over the fence and um, like cats could probably get over the fence. But things like foxes and bigger things that can't climb. Anything that can climb could get over our fences. Our fences are tall and they're built deep in the ground that nothing can get under them. And in the horse pasture, you see like some wooden fencing. Right behind it is that same tall fencing. So like nothing's getting in. If we free fence, if we free, um, if we free range them during the day, as long as we lock them in at night, it should always be okay. They should always be okay. <laughs> I've always wanted to free range them chickens, except for I've never been, felt secure or safe enough. But as long as they're in at night, I think this might work. It might work here. Okay, so we're all set up. Everybody's getting used to it. Sam must have the, the lid for this feeder in the car. It's the kind of feeder that they put their head in. So I'm gonna close that off. I have a feeder there. I have a water there, but I have like, three more of each thing. So I'm gonna bring more feeders out here so that everybody can eat, so there's no fighting. And I'm gonna bring three waterers out here. Some chickens have already been exploring out the door. They like it. I hate my rooster. I've never hated a rooster before, but I don't like him. Even though he's not mean, he's not friendly either. But that rooster is sweet. All the young, all the small chickens are over in that corner hiding. But I'm pretty sure that like once they get in here at night, that there's more than enough roosting area for them. But the smaller ones, if they feel scared or nervous, they'll all be able to sit underneath the roost and hide underneath there. So that'll be okay. I think we have about 15 
roasters. We had them in two different areas at our house. There's an amazing, I'm just sitting in here. There's an amazing breeze coming in here. Like a, an amazing breeze. But if it gets hot, oh look, that's Sophie's favorite chicken. <laughs> that would be such a cute picture. That's Sophie's favorite. She's just like a little hen. Like a little, I forget, a little bantam chicken anyway. She's so cute. And she already loves the roosting boxes. She hasn't laid yet today. She's probably thinking, oh, I'll just lay. That's adorable. That's my favorite chicken right there. That little tiny white one. It's a paint. 